Hello agents, welcome back to this series of video about uh, net logo for agent based simulations and how to use it. So let's just jump into the simulation. And today we are going to discuss about uh, the turtles, what are called the turtles in uh, net logo. So in other scenario, you will use probably the terms agents to mention that object that actually moves in the world and interacts with other agents. So here net logo, I don't know exactly why, but is using the term turtles and um, you can have it set them here and all the agents are turtles. So the wolves are called turtles, the sheep are called turtles and whatever. What's interesting here is that actually we can analyze them uh, directly or we can interact them also with them by using the command center. Right now I'm going to right click here and you can see we have many different possibilities, but it's telling us something about this ship. It's called a ship 89. We can inspect it. And when we inspect it, we have this new window. So here we have lots of information. First of all, if we want to watch it, we can have here this uh, configuration that selects exactly the ship the turtle that we're looking at here. I think we can zoom in and zoom out. And if the simulation is going, actually we can track it. I think she just died. <laughs> so we need a new one. Okay. New ship inspect this new ship. Okay. So it's interesting also the fact that if it dies, you cannot follow it anymore. So we have the who, who's the ship, the color, the heading, and I'm going to pass through all of these in just a second. But what's interesting here is that you can directly modify these parameters. For example, the size, I think it's always better to have bigger size so we can see them better. Right now is 1.5. So let's put a three. We have this huge uh, ship. And the other thing is we can mess up with the color. So for example, nine, we put five or uh, one or uh, 10. We can see that we have many different colors. Actually, there is a specific scale for uh, colors in net logo. But what's interesting is that you can directly type the main color. For example, if you want green, boom, it becomes green or pink. It becomes pink. And what's important to notice is that all the, let's say, saturated colors are uh, ending with five, while all the one that ends with zero are black. And I think the one that ends with 9.9 .9 are white. Pretty much because if you move around this scale, for example, uh, at 35, you have pink and then if you go at seven or eight it becomes more whitish while if you go below five so at four and then at two it becomes darker and darker and then it becomes almost black okay this is about the color you can change the heading is the direction in which is moving the coordinate, the um, uh, shape, for example, we want to turn this ship into an airplane. No, maybe let's spell it correctly. Airplane, poof, it becomes an airplane. And in this configuration, you can also see the heading. For example, if we can change this one to 90, it's moving and changing the direction. So, of course, the shapes are not, um, there are some shapes that are predefined. Okay, I played in the wrong place. Pink. Okay. So, we have some shapes that are predefined, and uh, you cannot put whatever here, like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> like lion. I don't know if there is already something like lion. Okay, lion is not uh, a defined shape. 
but you can check them in um, in the help center we can see it in a different way label color breed we will come back to this in a while i think in few videos hidden is just to see it if you can see it or not for example you put it as true and it disappear even if it can keep moving well if it died let's go with a wolf expect wolf and for example we hide it where is it hidden true and then let's slow down the simulation and let's go and you can see that is moving even if we cannot see it anymore but let's put it false again the size we already saw it uh, let's put it a five this giant wolf the pen size we are coming back for in a second on this and uh, the energy this is an extra parameter that only in these simulations we have it so for simplicity it's mostly we can see that the energy is going down as the simulation moves or it goes up depending if the wolf is eating or not so when he's eating is uh, increasing his energy and when he's not eating but this one is not a standard parameter for turtles you can add some uh, parameters as you wish and maybe this is something we will do in another tutorial in another video regarding the pen actually sometimes you want to trace how uh, some um, turtles are moving so we put the pen down and if we go we can see that now is leaving a trail now it died again but we can see that actually we had the shape here of the path that actually it was moving on now what is interesting here is that for sure you can do whatever you want here but uh, uh, you can do it also from the code or sometimes you can do it all you can send all the commands from the command center as the name suggests so here you have different uh, possibilities for example turtles patches links what's interesting is that you can directly set the variables here for all the turtles for example we can set the size to two so before we had something like this just size and then we have some space in which we can put the two but now we have to set so the command for changing something is set in other languages you have something like this size equal to here just you replace the value as this and as you do it you can see that all the turtles actually became bigger so set uh, color color pink and you see that everyone becomes pink not just the sheep or the wolves but everyone now let's go back because it was impossible to watch it okay now the same thing actually can be done by the observer the observer is let's say a super entity that is controlling everything and then can uh, um, interact with different entities but what's interesting here is that if we just set color pink we see that we cannot do it and the main thing is because uh, actually this um, um, the color attribute is not something that the observer has it's not a global variable we will see it better later but it's an attribute of the turtles so if we want to do the same thing from the observer perspective we select it and then we have to use the command ask turtles and then between square brackets we put the command so our set color pink we run it and we can see that actually is working so what if we want to send a specific command to a specific turtle so we can check and for example we check this beautiful wolf it is called wolf 137 we can inspect it but even without inspecting it we can just ask wolf 
it's called 137. Don't worry about the space here. I know that uh, in a lot of languages you should have something like this because otherwise the, the entire simulation uh, explodes. And here what we can do is something like set size five or whatever, like uh, set uh, color blue or just if we are bored with this wolf, just die and it dies. So this is pretty much it for understanding the turtles. And let's start understanding at the beginning the command center. In the next video, I think we will see the patches and maybe we'll start also the links. And until next time, just enjoy, have fun and just run a lot of simulations.